mysterious fire has destroyed the 150-year-old Phelps factory in Canaveral. It's feared that there may be casualties among the staff. The fire which was in the morning rush hour care is said to have completely gutted the old factory premises. Officers at the scene are still looking for clues, but Arsenal has not been found. Police have given Hello? a number for relatives to call. Yeah, I don't know anything about fatalities. But no comment. Michael Jones has the story. Yeah, yeah, I saw it on the news this morning. I'm just coming into the office now. Look, I haven't got a clue what happened, and no one has told me anything about people being killed. What about people's families? Look, it all looks like a mess, and we've got a big order on for one of our largest clients. Now, excuse me, I'm really busy. First of all, let me make it clear that our fire precautions were fully approved. So whatever caused this blaze, it's not Phelps' fault. Hello, Joseph. Hello. Looks like we'll have to send someone down. It's George Mitchell. George Mitchell? Yes, today's his crucial day. We need to send someone down immediately. Is Clarence free? No. Oh. Then we'll have to send the guys from Bell Pottinger. A serious fire has destroyed the 150-year-old Phelps factory. It's feared that there may be casualties among the staff. The fire which was in the morning rush hour came is said to have completely against the old factory. Hello? Our first concern is the safety of the staff and of the firefighters at the scene. We'll have a clearer picture once the fire officer in charge can update us on what has happened. I'm on my way there now and I will, of course, keep you informed. Michael Jones has the story. Yeah, yeah, I saw it on the news this morning. I'm just coming into the office now. How did the fire start? How, How is it going to affect the community? Do you know anything about the damages? Information is still coming in from the fire service, but tragically it does appear that one of my fellow workers has lost his life. What about people's families? My first priority is to establish the facts and then to speak to the families of all those involved. I also plan to reassure those who are safe and to provide help and support to the families of those killed or hurt. As you may have seen, the building has been extensively damaged and whilst our first concern is those killed and injured, we will as soon as possible explore what can be done to safeguard the jobs of our staff and the supply line to our customers.